G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, another weekly vlog. A bit of a quieter week this week. I, um, I filmed some AFL Evolution content and had a live stream, which I'm absolutely loving at the moment. Loving the live stream. It's probably our best live stream yet. So there's some behind the scenes clips of that. But also a little bit of uh, Kato story time, just like last week. Um, in this week's episode, I discuss how I got sacked from the Werribee Footy Club. Um, and I also discussed one of the most embarrassing moments that ever happened to me. I'm loving the Peaky Blinders hat. My, my hair's a little bit long for it maybe, I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna rep it one day. Anyway, uh, let's not mess about anymore and let's get into the weekly vlog. Come on. I've had a few ideas to do with AFL Evolution. Um, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd record some AFL Evolution content. Um, I was thinking about holding out though, because the new game comes in a couple of months. So I was thinking about holding out some of my ideas until the new game comes back, but stuff that. I just want to get out content. So um, I have an idea to try and tank for three quarters, be down by heaps, and try and have the biggest comeback in AFL VFL history, which is 45 points. The Brisbane Lions did it against the Hawks. So I'm gonna play the, as the Lions against West Coast, just because the reigning Premier is at home, one of the hardest tasks in AFL. Um, so I'm gonna be the Lions and try and come back from more than 45 points down. Good morning, guys. Um, I'm just whipping up uh, the video that I filmed yesterday, the AFL Evolution one. I'm gonna be putting it up today. Glorious morning, so I'm gonna go for coffee with Benny P. Um, but I'm going to try and fit a little bit of editing in at the moment. Oh, picture perfect day to get a coffee with Benny P. Cheers. Cheers. Not cheers, a cloud cheers. in heaps, sight. Heaps of sunscreen on, <laughs> as usual. How was, uh, how was your meal? Yeah, unreal. Love bacon and eggs. Was it nice? Yeah. How was the beef brisket? Or yeah, the beef brisket went down a treat. We're going to go uh, to the op shop, see if we can get some new threads. Thank you. Peace. Go to the dog in. Beauty. Oh my. It's not bad. <laughs> We're coming for the cup. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's the day of the live stream. Um, Woken up a little bit earlier. Um, it's an absolute cracking day outside, to be honest. Holy has been. Not a cloud in sight. Absolutely loving doing the live streams. Um, we reckon that. As much as we love reading the comments, we probably read the comments a little bit too much in the first couple of weeks. Um, instead of us like getting a run sheet and getting a, um, you know, a few topics to talk about off the bat, we were sort of just going through the comments and talking to you guys. So we're gonna try and make this one, you know, a bit more of a show, still involve you guys heaps. Like that's what we do the live streams for, to have a bit of, back and forth with you guys but instead of trawling through the um comments just like relentlessly we'll have times where we look through the comments and we'll have times where you know we'll bring topics um to the table that we'll discuss just by ourselves for five ten minutes so hopefully it's a little bit more entertaining um yeah just a little bit different to uh people just watching us read read the chat it is a spanker of a day outside so I might do a little bit of fitness. I might go for a bit of a jog or something. Um, trying to get on that fitness hype, you know how it is. So I had a really productive day today, guys. I'm just getting every last little thing ready for the stream tonight, which is in about two hours time. But um, no, it's looking really good. I'm really happy with how the preparation's gone with Kyle Lettridge, so the stream should be good tonight. We've also changed a few settings, so hopefully it comes out in a better quality. I tried to have a pre-show nap and uh, it didn't happen, so I'm a little bit tired. I might get a coffee into me before the stream starts. About half an hour before Benny gets here, about 15 minutes before I go and get Cook, and um, yeah, we'll get underway. On the weekly vlog, we are back, boys. Live stream footy. Benny's already been in the vlog this week. Hey. We went and got a cheeky little coffee. Me too. Uh, on the coffee this morning. <laughs> yeah, ah, cook, no, no, no. Cooks has been on the coffees this week. <laughs> Just waiting for the pizza to arrive. The footy's going to be on soon. Go the crowies. Go the crowies. The back. I wish, um... We had like a Bill Auger or a Danoon here just so I could stir the fire. We'll get Bill on. <laughs> we'll get Bill on next time. Well, stir me. Why not? <laughs> 
Pretend you're a cat's fan and just get triggered. Okay. Cat's fan with your doggies too. Go the cats, go the cats. Streams going off chops tonight, ladies and gents. We got the scoreboard working in the corner. The streams just just flying. Everyone's been getting involved. They're loving it. Benny's it's good, isn't it? It's Benny's good. he's dominating on stream debut. We're and six away from a floss. We've uh, we've we've worked hard. <laughs> Oh, feel yourself. <laughs> we've worked hard and we've nearly got Cookson to 2k subs. He's oh, got... two away. We're, We're two away. He's got... You have to floss. He's got 40 subs in the last Can't hour. Pass. No, 60 That's good. Begging for subs doesn't get any better. Oh, oh. Kaj, get... love you and come on the ruse. I love that. Oh, there it is. 2-2, two, two, boys. Wow. There it is. Well done. Well done, brother. Floss. Oh. Hey. Well done, brother. Thank you, sir. And now, the six um, well, I'll get out of your way. Yeah, we'll okay. we'll, so, Cookson's got the 2K and floss he said boys. he'd floss. Now, don't knock anything over. There it is. All about that. Not, much, not enough room. We love content. Yeah, and food, so, oh, pulled a hammy. Oh, we love that. Well done, mate. Nearly rocking. Ah. 2008. <laughs> 2008 subscribers. Let's make it 210. On the stream, ladies and gents, and the people of the stream has gotten cooks in to 2,000 subscribers. Oh, it's, it's, it's well and truly appreciated. We the people. We the people. We the people. Well done, mate. Enjoy it. Thanks, kids. Thanks, boys, girls. All right, guys. So, uh, story time with Kados again. I'm going to tell a classic story, which I've told a couple of times on the channel before, but many years ago of the time that I was the Werribee ground announcer. I had an absolute nightmare while doing the Anzac Day ceremony. But instead of doing it where I just tell the story, I'm going to call a couple of the guys that I used to work at the Werribee Football Club with, have a chat to them, and uh, we'll recount the, uh, the story of how pretty much when the Australian National Anthem is meant to play in the Anzac Day ceremony, it didn't play. And it was all my fault. We'll call the boys, chat to them, and just recount one of the more awkward moments that I've ever had in my life. What was your role down at the club, Alex? I was the match day manager down at the footy club at the time. Um, so I was responsible for kind of all the um, activities that were going on off the field and the setup and um, the entertainment and all that sort of stuff. Do you remember much of uh, what happened uh, that ceremony? Yeah, well, well, firstly we had to go and um, chat to old John Lamont and convince him <laughs> that we were going to do the process correctly because he said, I'm keen, but I don't want my boys standing around for more than, you know, 15 <laughs> seconds. I said, no worry, Johnny, like, come on, it's me, I've got you sorted. Uh, I do remember being in the box and you were obviously the uh, announcer slash uh, music man. No one really thought about it during the week. We thought, oh, Ripper, we've got an, we've got an actual Anzac Day game. How good is that? Yeah. But no one actually thought that there's some planning that goes into having an Anzac Day game. Obviously, you have to play the uh, um, last post national anthem in the, in the minute silence. And, it was uh, pouring down rain. I remember getting them all lined up and the umpires entered the ground three minutes earlier and it was all good. And, you know, the presenter stands up there and he says, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a quick stance to um, the Anjak Anthem. And we all just there and we looked around and there was pretty much crickets going on around the stadium. Um, <laughs> and the players were all standing there in line, wait, sort of waiting for the national anthem. It was pouring rain. They're, they're all ready to go out and start playing and all of a sudden, nothing does happen and nothing does happen. Yeah, I, I just remember turning around and looking up into the stack box and all the boys, you could just see them pulling out each other's hair and not knowing what to do and yeah, no sound coming through. Yeah, so what had happened was you had ran through it beautifully about 10, 5, 10 minutes beforehand. You're like, yeah, so just flick it over from the mic to the CD player, chuck the CD in and the CD was this old Anzac Day oh, ceremony CD. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's what we did. They said, you know, please stand for the, the national anthem, and um, I turned off the mic. So at that point, I think it was Kevin Hillier who had the mic. He he couldn't tell anyone what, what was going on because I'd turned off his mic to turn on the CD. I'd put yep. the C, I put the CD in, and it just spat it back out. It said, "No disc cannot read." I don't, I don't think that actually down there. That's sort of all breaking down. So. Yeah, I know. I'd, I'd love to be the grand announcer now. <laughs> it looks sick. Well, they're squeaky clean now. I don't reckon they'd be using CDs or anything like that anymore. Um, and I reckon I've got a few blokes going through the club that know a bit more about what they're doing as well. So. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly right. I remember at the end of the season, I didn't get an email. Or I didn't, you know, I sort of lost contact with the club over the summer. And then I saw on Facebook, start of the footy season, they're like, we're looking for a ground announcer. <laughs> and I was like, I'm like, well, this is, uh, is that's probably my job done. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you're finished, mate. You're finished. That was another weekly vlog, guys. I appreciate everyone who watched. I appreciate all the support. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next week. Cheers.